Hello everybody and welcome to Romance Most Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now this reading is dedicated to the sign of Leo. That being said, this is a general reading so it might not resonate with everybody so please do take whatever resonates with you, whatever you're feeling comfortable with and just leave the rest of it aside. If ever you do have any questions, um, you would like to have a personal reading on your relationships, on the people that are surrounding you that are involved into your life, please do contact me for some answers at romancefultarot at gmail.com so I can forward you the different type of readings that I can offer you so we can go and find those answers that you're seeking for. Um, also, if you do enjoy my channel and you do enjoy my messages and you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please do take a moment to click on the subscribe button to show your support to the channel and to myself and it is always greatly appreciated. So, with no further ado, we are going to begin this reading. Now, what we want to know is, do they still love you? Okay, so this is where we're going to go and search for the answer. Now, usually I get a clear yes or I get a clear no. Uh, sometimes I get some maybe, so I'm hoping to get a clear answer for you. So let's go see what the messages um, are here for you. I'm using three different decks. So I have the uh, Psychic Tarot, I have the Romance Angels, and I have the Romance Oracle. So. Let's just turn these over. We're going to begin over here with um, the Psychic Tarot and then we're going to move over to the other two decks and see what they have to say. So, I have the card of Flow, followed by Find Balance and Daydreams and Decisions. Okay, so looking at it just like that, I do have to say that this is kind of going into the middle of the wind here. It's not a yes, it's not a no. It's a somewhere in between. It's something that is not quite decided by faith yet. So, um, but let's go see. Let's go see in depth. Let me go and tell you uh, what you can do to maybe tilt it more to the yes or, you know, or to the no if that's what you want. But I'm guessing you want the yes. So, um, we're going to begin here with the flow. The flow is all about attracting. It's about expecting. It's about releasing. It's about serendipity, really, and cycles and expansion. So, now, <clears throat> the energies around you at this time. And they are positive and they are driving you forward. But you need to let yourself flow with these energies and put them to good use. Because if they're there, you're doing nothing with them. Nothing is going to happen. You're going to stay into this stagnant point. Now, this is an opportune time to attract your heart's desires. Do you want more love? Do you want more peace? A greater understanding? Is your heart calling out for just a new relationship? Does a current relationship need improvement, perhaps? You need to focus on your desires and you need to allow them to manifest by expecting them too. Now, at the same time, you need to release yourself to the flow. Even greater than you can ever imagine may be heading your way, but you need to release yourself. If you don't do so, you're not going to get the flow. You're going to still be blocked where you are. You need to project your desires, but also be open to all the new possibilities, okay? So good fortune and joyful synchronicities do come with the flow card. You need to open your heart and arms wide and you need to embrace what comes to you. You need to embrace whatever the universe is going to be sending down to you. Nothing is static. Life just flows in cycles all the time. And you know, it's about expanding, it's about contracting, it's about changing, it's about growing. You know, you're, you may be entering a new cycle regarding matters of the heart, but you need to welcome this new cycle. And when a stone is tossed into a pond, well, you know what? The ripples flow with the water as they expand and as they grow. So you're in an exciting period of forward movement and expansion heading into the unknown. So this forward movement may guide you into a new relationship or out with the old ones. So in either case, you must know that the change for your highest good, okay, this is for your good. The energy of expansion is going to help you grow into new situations, but gracefully, safely and comfortably. So this is all about I move forward with grace and with ease. This is about going with the flow, accepting what is coming and just deal with it as it goes. So that being said, um, then we do have the card of balance and the balance card is all about, you know what, you need to cope. You need to maybe multi multitask, you need to breathe and you need to arbitrate. So. You may find that the matters of the heart here require maybe some extra effort at this time, 
more and more demands may be placed upon you. Now, requiring you to juggle, you know, your attention from left to right, from left to right. This is all about balancing. Hey, I never put you out my balance card. There's my balance card. Um, family gatherings, school commitments, requests for assistance, or any other obligation is going to arise within a very short period of time. You need to just breathe and you need to remember to be flexible and you must adapt your approach to each situation at hand when it does present itself to you. You need to know that you have the ability to keep everything and everyone in great balance. Now you may be called to, you know, to play this role as a mediator. This is a time for compassion, it's a time for understanding and you are up to the task, okay? This is really about helping yourself to maintain balance in your life. Maintain balancing in your life is really a total effect of the whole cycle. So it's as much with work, with relationships, with family. It's finding that balance and you need to find that balance within your personal relationship. Okay, because if there is an imbalance, somebody is going to feel like they're just carrying way too much weight and it's not going to go into the right direction. We're going to move over to the daydreams and decisions and this is all about fantasies. It's about imagination. This is a little bit, you know, going more to the no. It's about options, but it's also about choosing. When this card appears, it just often means that, you know, there's a certain amount of confusion and there's uncertainty regarding your love life. What is, what is it that you really do desire? What would you like to change or what would you like to attract? You have many options in front of you, okay? So this is, but you have to see them and you have to be able to want to see them. Do some daydreaming about possible futures. Have some fun. It's through your fantasies and your imagination that you're going to transform your desires into reality. So once you've sorted out your options and you've played around with the possibilities, you know what? It's time for action. While it's pleasant to daydream, staying in that fantasy land is just not wise. You're not going to get anything done, but you need to take your time. But eventually decisions will have to be made in order for you to move forward or else you're going to stay exactly where you are right now in stagnation. You need to reflect on your wishes. You need to decide which feels right and you need to choose a course of action. You're going to feel powerful that you have made the decision and you're going to be on your way to manifesting a change and this is good. May the change be good, may it be bad, not good or bad. Both all changes will be good. They're going to lead you to a new perspective, to a new journey but that being said the change needs to be done. So quite frankly here as I was saying this is really in between okay. It's really in between what you're going to do, what your partner is going to do. There is no clear answer. It's as if you're not quite sure both of you. Um, I have here a heart heart conversation. So yes, honestly, you must discuss your feelings with each other. It's pretty much the only way that you're going to find out, you know, do they still love you or not? And then what do we do? What do we do with our decisions? Where are we going? And give your relationship a chance. You need to work on your relationship. If the answer is yes, you know what? You need to give your relationship a chance. You need to work on going with the flow. You need to work with, you know, balancing everything off into your relationship. Um, we're going to move over to the final deck, which is the angel answers. And I have get more information. So yes, you need to get more information. You need to talk with the main person, which is the partner. You need to discuss with them. You need to find out what exactly is going on. You need to know the truth for both of you. May it be in the good or may it be in the bad. And you need to ask for some advice. You need to ask some guidance. So um, if it's from your angels, if it's from your spirit, if, you know, whoever that you ask guidance for, you need to find that guidance. So that being said, this is an in-between world. It's really going to depend on what the answer that you know that you find out within yourself and that they find out. Right now, it's not a yes, it's not a no. It you know left to be continued. So um, I hope you're going to find those answers. If you would like to have a personal reading, you can contact me at romancefultarot at gmail.com and then with a personal reading with your information, your questions, we might be able to find that answer. Um, I do wish you a fantastic day. Many, many blessings. Um, please stay tuned for the following readings. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll be seeing you soon. Have a great day and thank you for being there.